Excellent! This looks like an excellent harvest of all of the various weeds and other riffraff plants that we have around the place. And hopefully people will buy it from the marketplace and we will become even more wealthy in dewdrops. But hello everyone and welcome back to Littlewood, where we are here in our slowly but surely rebuilding village of Mosswood, where hopefully I'm going to be able to work with my three friends who have now moved into the village to create this place into just something absolutely beautiful. After all, we've already defeated the evil wizard and I have lost my memories. I have retained my magical earth building, like bending powers. And uh, we're gonna try to craft this world into something special. So let's go ahead and see what we can do today. Hey Dalton. Hey Siri. Oh no Dalton, what happened to your eye? I know, I know, my face looks terrible. Oh man, if only I could remember all of the puns that I've heard in another life in Animal Crossing whenever somebody sees me with a swollen eye. Mostly you just scream at me, so I'm gonna scream at you Dalton. Ah! This morning I was trying to pick some weeds around my house and a big dragon wasp stung me right in the face. I'm gonna craft a bug net and I'll catch every one last one of those bugs. <gasps> that sounds fantastic! I wanna catch some of those bugs too! Give me some time to craft that bug net. My face hurts too much right now to move. Oh, Dalton, I'm so sorry about that. Oh dear, he's had a hard day. Maybe we can go ahead and try to help him out by donating some of these dewdrops to his shop. If I can do that. Uh, if I can do that, you get it? And in fact, now that I know that it's his shop, I wonder if I should go ahead and like move it? I can! Behold my powers! We can just go ahead and straight up move his little shop right over here. And then let's actually lower this spot right here. And maybe make like a little stream that can sort of be in front of his shop instead. I wish we could make like a cool waterfall, but I don't think that's like something we can do just yet. But maybe I can make a little field here. There we go, I like the look of that. Man, th behold my powers. These get addictive to use really quickly. And then let's actually come up and Willow, you have a spot right next to you I have been thinking about tending to. So let me try. Ha ha, there we go. And Boom! Willow, what do you think about that? Now the spot next to your house is even nicer. In fact, Willow, I'm gonna make the spot next to your house even nicer nicer. So give me just a second. And we will move Willow's house over a little bit so it has like its nice, its own nice little, huh, what's this? There we go. So it has its own nice little setting a little bit away from the main path and I can even oh, Willow watch this watch this you're gonna be really impressed I can even give her one of these cute little trees like so and then I'll grab her a nice little flower to go in front of her house like so and if I knew where to find another flower I would here Willow I'm gonna search for a flower for you because I'm gonna be oh this flower there we go I'm gonna be super nice and we're gonna we're gonna show Willow that we can be very kind even if it takes a little bit to use my magic powers to drag this all the way back to her all right there we go in fact I wonder if I can really set her up nicely like oh oh can't move the fence <laughs> I thought I'd be able to move the fence but that's apparently a no-go all right Willow what do you think about this though haha -ha! it looks very lovely doesn't it uh, gobby merchants will pay a good price for weeds since it's their favorite snack. What who what are gobbies? I'm not sure if they eat meteorites though. Huh, I'll remember that. Do you want to hang out, Willow? I'll be right behind you. Sweet, alright, so we'll hang out for just a minute. Maybe we can see if we can go work on Dalton's place together. And now I have moved his little marketplace right over here. And what happens if I donate some coins? Unlock more furniture and items. So we're gonna donate some dewdrops. Currently under construction. Oh, so you have to donate it more than once. I see. Let's go donate to all of the shops, Willow. I'm sure that's gonna help out our town, right? And then these other two locations, I might move down, I might leave here, but they're basically to help gain a dulce coin. They're to like come over here and we have a little lumber spot, but no lumber jack. The house or the building is already built in case they do come though. And then right over here, 
I can donate some dewdrops to the smelter. Okay. And then... How you doing, Dudley? Do you remember the first time we fished together? Well, technically for me, that was yesterday. Hmm. That wizard really did a number on you. You were very young then. As for me, I was in my prime. We went out on my old boat on Lake Okiwoki. 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 That's so cute. And fished all day. I had to cover you up with cold towels because of your sunburns. We still had a lot of fun on the water, though. And now, because of you, folks everywhere can have days like these again. Oh. Wow, apparently I did like a really cool thing. I don't remember it, but I'm really glad that I was able to do something to help the world. I mean, what else could you really aspire towards, right? All right, then let's come down here. Grab a couple of these. Wow, good job, Willow. And then let's catch a fish together. What do you think about that, Willow? And there's even a little farm back here, but I don't know what I can do with it yet because I don't have any seeds. That's really cool. So by like hanging out with somebody, you collect a lot more stuff than if you were just running around by yourself. I worry eventually we're going to run out of all these meteorites though. Hopefully the wizard didn't lo like leave behind some sort of curse where it's just nothing but meteorites raining down from the skies. Yay! Good job, Willow. All right, she's really happy. And then I guess we could just like pick some of these weeds cuz she keeps talking about them. That'll help us with, like, gathering points, I think. And I guess, technically, we're having to, like, rebuild- Maybe I was, like, an expert miner or an expert fisher before all this, but I have nothing left of my memory. So we just have to try from scratch. All right, I think I've actually almost finished tidying up most of the town in terms of, like, rocks and weeds. How you doing, Dalton? Oh, poor Dalton. That must very much hurt. All right, Willow. I don't really want to cut down these trees, I gotta admit. So I think I'm just about done with anything that I can work on for now. Except, let's grab this. And we're gonna make a path. Haha! -ha! Up the mountains so that we can reach all of the stuff over there too. I am so proud I figured that out. Look at that! Good job! And she's been able to find lots of stuff too, so that's great, Willow. We've had a nice day frolicking together. Alright, that's pulled up. Willow, can you tell me why I can't leave the town? Nope. Alright, well let's stop hanging out together. Alright, and I think that's good. I mean, that's all I've got to really offer up, and I guess now uh, I don't even have to really- Oh wait, I should probably build Dalton a bed. I'll worry about it in the morning. I'm sure he'll be fine. Woo! And my accomplishments are going up. Oh my gosh, my merchant <laughs> my merchant skills are like going through the roof. Hopefully that's a good thing. I had a good night's rest. I'm feeling energetic. Dear Siri, nice job with getting level five in mining. Every time I swing a pickaxe, I break something. From Dalton. Aw, Magicite? What's Magicite? Dear Siri, I like slime apples, but not if they're rotten. I found some rotten ones. I usually, if I find some rotten ones, I usually throw them at Willow. Do you want to try it with me sometime? Slime apples, what? Heroic merit? Dear Siri, I am very happy living in my cozy home here in Mosswood. Thanks for having me here. From Dudley. Oh, so it seems like everybody in town is starting to get really happy. Who are you? Who are you? Who are all these people? Budsby? Oh my gosh, you're a bird. I love you. I was walking in the woods and stumbled upon this town. Some folks are saying that you're Siri, the hero of Solemn. Oh, so it was the event of Solemn? Hmm, I expected you to look a bit more heroic. I'm Bunsby, Solemn's greatest chef and fashion connoisseur. This place looks to be in desperate need of my good food and fashion sense. I'm sure my signature, my signature slime pudding or my bubbly dragon drink would satisfy your townsfolk. Oh, he wants to move in too? Oh my gosh, his signature bubbly drinks. What do you think about that, Willow? You know, Dalton made a good point this morning. He says you need an official title in your own office. What do you think your title should be, Siri? Mayor? Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. What should my title be? Grand Wizard? Hero? Um, Dreamer? 
Woodswoman? Wild? Wild theory? Uh, well, no, let's see, we're Mosswood. Um, how about we, I mean, Hero is kind of straightforward. It tells you about the job I did, the job to do, and technically it sounds kind of egotistical, but you know what? We're just gonna go with Hero, because that's, that's pretty much all I know about myself. I'm apparently the hero. It's decided. You're officially Siri, Hero of Mosswood. That has a nice ring to it. I mean, I'll say, hopefully it'll be enough to keep any trouble away. I mean, if somebody was like, oh, this tiny town in the woods, and and you were a nefarious sort, you may be like, yeah, ha ha, I shall go forth and I shall break into their tiny town and steal their things. But if they're like, and who lives in the tiny town, says the bandits. And the answer is Siri, the hero of Mosswood, or Siri, the mayor of Mosswood. Clearly, hero is going to be the thing that makes them go, oh, maybe we should reconsider. So, our new official hero is deserving of an official building. A building where you can write new rules for Mosswood in the townsfolk. Ooh, I get a little office now. That's so cool. <gasps> and I have a blueprint for a slime apple tree, so I can make a bunch of slime apples. Dalton, what do you think about that? Yo, Siri, I fixed my face, can you tell? Also, I made some bug nets so that now we can catch all of those pesky dragon wasps. Here, you can have the good one. Sweet! Thank you, Dalton! And we'll compliment him. You like my outfit. It's pretty heroic, right? Maybe it's modeled off of something I used to wear. Well, let's compliment- oh, I- oh, You can only compliment one person at a time! I have learned something! Alright. And Bugsby wants to move in? Now we're, like, really getting somewhere. Also, there's more weeds. So apparently the weeds will come back again and again. All those nice dewdrops. And a traveler brings gifts! Wedge the merchant! And he brought me a gift of pebbles? I love this traveler! What can I do with pebbles? Oh my gosh! Okay, so, town decor? Or did he give me, like, physically give me pebbles? Maybe he physically gave me pebbles? I... Okay? Those are stones. Wait, how did he give me pebbles? I'm not gonna question it. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Oh, Dudley, you're over here today. Hey, Siri, I forgot to tell you something yesterday. While you were out adventuring, this old man found his green thumb. I grew all types of veggies on my old farm. It was quite re rewarding. In case you wanted to uh, try growing some crop, I, I in case you wanted to try growing some crops, I wanted to give you this. First, you place some tilled soil down. Then you place some crops on top of it. There is many types. Of, there are many types of crop in, crops in Solom. There we go. Sorry, I'm sure you will discover all of them. You bet I will. How can he give me some carrots? Look, we're not messing around. These carrots are going straight to market, so I know exactly what we need to do. All right. Oh, it's for the ground. So now we can actually decorate the pebbles on the ground. I love it. You know what? I kind of love the idea of having some cliff carrots. So we're actually going to like put some spots over here and then I'm gonna come on down how to pick I think I need to come maybe items carrots what if I want to plant them I can pick fruits and crops I can catch fish I want to plant them come on give me the secrets I want to plant these things carrots take about two days to grow you can sell them for dewdrops or use them as cooking materials Mmm, carrot cake sounds pretty good about now. I'll say I freaking love carrot cake. A good vegan carrot cake is just like absolutely my jam. Uh, however, how to nature... <gasps> you go to nature and then crops! And now I have cliff carrots! Yes! Okay, that's awesome. Uh, and now I can plant trees as well, which is also really cool. So I should definitely get some slam apple trees down. Alright, while we're here... Come here, little fish fish. You're going- Oh, it's a lily pad! That lily pad's going to market. Everything's going to market. Alright. I think Mosswood is really starting to come together. What the heck? I got a flutterfly! <gasps> That's so cute! Okay, we gotta go over to Dalton's shop. Since he has given us these powers. <gasps> Bookshelf! An artsy carpet! A bunch of stones! 
Dalton, I didn't know you had it in you. Oh, and then we need to donate three wooden planks in order to help with the upgrade. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Of course I'm gonna buy this bookshelf. I absolutely want that. And I wish I could buy the artsy carpet, but I don't have enough money. Wow, okay, I'm starting to like piece some things together. And I love how I can just see a butterfly and be like, I wish to catch that butterfly. Wave my arms and like magic. Ah, oh, come here, little one. Got it, another flutterfly. I can just magic some stairs. That is so fun. All right, let's see. Do I wanna try catching these guys again? It's kind of tricky. Oh, I let him get away. I didn't mean to let him get away. Okay, and then if I just go ahead and elevate that and then lower this. Now I should be able to catch these. I can't believe I can just change the way the lake is laid out if I want to catch more fish. <laughs> Instead of being like, oh no, I can't quite reach it. I can just be like, you cannot fool me, fish. And I can physically move the fish. That's just ridiculous. Or I can physically move the water around the fish. And then, ta-da! Get myself a bunch of minnows. But all right, let's see what else we need to do to upgrade some of these other buildings. Donate some wooden, uh, donate some wooden um, planks there as well. And then let's come on up here and we'll donate some wooden planks for the lumber mill to be able to expand. And I think we did a great job. And now I can get to work like making some more slime trees. I'm gonna actually come on over, do a little bit of tilled soil in case I need to. And I wanna plant another slime apple tree right there. Oh, I have a whole bunch of, no, I, I don't have a whole bunch of them. I only had the one. All right, there we go. Nice. All right, last thing left to do is to talk to Bubsby. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put his house right over here. Oh, and then my new office. I also need to have a new office. So I'm gonna put his house here and then I'm going to build my new office. Oh, look at that. Cute. I'm gonna build my new office right over here, there. Excellent, I have now accomplished many, many different things. And I have caught many flutterflies, hopefully building up uh, some great experience there. Willow is still just dancing down there. And I can come on in. I mean, we've got cliff carrots going. We've got new people moving into town. I would say that today has been ridiculously successful. I can also sell some flutterflies and two lovely lily pads. Don't mind if I do. But all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pop back to our house to sleep through the night. And then once we get, so oh, wait, 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 actually, I need to welcome Punksby to town. All right, so actually I'm gonna catch my breath and uh, just prepare myself, maybe see what else I can do for tidying up and organizing town, smoothing down some of the cliffs at the wave of my hand. And then when we come back, we will visit more with the new arrivals who apparently I can just build houses for like instantly, which is so cute. And we shall continue to do our best for our expanding little land of Mosswood next time. So if you guys could do please leave a like for our little land. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.